We're out here trying to clear out the garage. Remember I showed you all them boxes that have been over there forever. We're taking all those and we're moving them out here to this tough shed. But so we don't have to walk back and forth with a bunch of boxes. We're loading up the uh, new Silverado. The only problem is with our four wheel drive and it just rained all like all day yesterday and the day before. The ground is like super muddy. So yeah, we're just, your feet are gone. <laughs> so we're out here having fun, trying to make sure we stay up on this all the way back so we can get these boxes off. Fun times, huh, baby? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get the inside of this a little bit muddy again, more. Well, we didn't do too bad. We also ended up stomping it back out to get all the ruts back together. That way when it dries, it dries nice and uh, flat and not all crazy like, like we had it. You can see the uh, mud right there. <laughs> both, both tires are like that. But on another note, April here. April. Hey. April. Psst, psst. She's not feeling good. She got attacked last night by the neighbor's dog. And uh, it's kind of a worst case scenario is what happened to her. So she's on some meds right now, not feeling real good. <sighs> Scared the hell out of us. We wore ourselves out trying to get her freed from the dog's mouth. The dog was a full-size dog compared to her. And he just, basically, he just grabbed like this and picked her up and shook her. And we got her free once and she took off. And uh, he went after her and grabbed her again over by the fence and shook her again. Just like, I was just a really, really horrible night. We took her to the ER last night and they said that there's nothing broken inside. She may end up just with just real mild swelling and uh, to keep an eye on her. We've got her on antibiotics and some pain meds. Hi, huh, April. Come on. Come on. Go she go don't want to walk. Come on. Yeah, go baby. Come on. No. She does not want to walk. Come on. April, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, I'm not going to keep making her try to do this. I'm going to get her inside. We're going to force some water down her throat so she can at least stay hydrated. and Just wish the best for our dog, please. April. Is my everything. She's nine and a half years old. I'm not ready to let go of her. Come on, little girl. You don't want to leave my side. I don't exactly blame her. Come on. She's like, where are we going? She hasn't pooped in a couple of days, so I'm hoping this will promote her to poop. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's walk around. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. Maybe if I walk like this, she'll follow me. Come on. I don't know if she has enough strength to push a little poop out. There it is. Oh, thank goodness. She hasn't had a bowel movement since early Friday, and it's now Saturday morning. Okay, for people who don't want to watch that, <laughs> I'm just glad to see her pooping. You just don't even understand how happy I am that my little dog is, April's is actually doing something right now. But uh, she can't hardly push, that's apparent. But she needed to do this, so uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, now it's this evening, Sunday night, and uh, she's recovering pretty good. You can still tell that her hips and her side hurt. She's walking real slow. She's not trying to jump around a lot, but she's already eaten. She had that bowel, bowel movement earlier. She's drinking water on her own again. We were having to take a uh, syringe and basically force her to drink something. But she's starting to uh, look better. Oh, look, a second bowel movement. Good girl. So we'll give her some privacy. But yeah, uh, she's doing a whole lot better. I'm, I'm really happy that she's 
doing as good as she is right now. Of course, she's still on pain meds, so there's a lot of pain she's not feeling because of that. I'm giving them to her like I'm supposed to every eight hours. So 6 a.m., 2 o'clock, and uh, 10 o'clock tonight, I'll be giving her some more pain meds and uh, whatnot. So, yep, that's what's going on now. We're going to continue on and press towards. Come on, let's go. See, see how slow she's walking? Come on, baby. Come on. I think she's at her end. All right, I'm going to carry her back to the truck. All right, well, that's going to conclude this week's video. April's doing okay. April, what are you doing? Hey, hey. I think she's just not feeling good. I need to give her some more meds. It's about 10 o'clock at night, Sunday night. This is going to conclude the video. Uh, she's having a little trouble still walking. I'm, not, I'm trying not to let her jump up onto the bed because she really can't make it. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give them some thumbs up that April's going to be okay. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. I am going to start doing some more uh, truck driving videos. Uh, more, I'd, I'd like to do some more how-to videos and, uh, and beginner videos and stuff that, uh, that drivers should think about and stuff like that uh, for the truck driving industry. So, uh, uh, expect to see more of those kind of videos, but I am also going to be doing the mini truck videos on the weekends, especially when I can get to it. Uh, I just, it was unfortunate that I wasn't able to get to it today or, or this weekend due to, you know, circumstances that were beyond my control. So, uh, thumbs up and, uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.